Hello! So I had um, a request in my last video from Grimsby to try out if you can temporarily mount the camera upside down. I did it and actually it works, so here is some video material of that. But I have highly to di discourage anybody to try this as well or to really use this in a practical uh, sense since Blackmagic is very clear in their manual that you should not try to support the weight of the camera on the upside uh, uh, on the top mount. This is um, so in my case this was only an experiment and I have to warn everybody to be to uh, to stress the top mount this is not how it's actually going to work. A little bit unfortunate because when I heard, oh, this has this neat top mount, I, I was already quite uh, inspired what, what can be done. Well, of course, you still can do a lot of stuff, but you need a cage. And mine has still not arrived yet. I guess it's going to be actually more um, towards end of November. And the plate as well. So there is nothing I can do for now. So that's it for my experiment for for now but the second question that i got is um what is the um, lens about that i was using in my last video and in this video this is actually the main lens that i intend to use with the setup on this gimbal this is um, a Koba prominar 8.5 millimeter um, wide angle lens or as well 2.8 um, aperture so it's a very neat lens for me in terms of shooting architecture uh, it's not really going to look nice with people um, but i have to mention that this lens is is gold if barrel distortion needs to be almost zero um, so the barrel distortion is is outstanding on this model that's why i actually have it for my architecture filming and I can recommend it highly for this thing. Um, beside from that, I guess you can get um, models way cheaper that do the same thing with a little bit more or um, with a uh, noticeable more uh, barrel distortion. And actually as well, 2.8, I'm pretty sure there are models out right now who can beat that as well. But it's a very neat uh, model for me. I do a lot of... Um, tracking in After Effects um, of scenes, putting 3D elements into a scene and having a, a lens that has um, almost or no barrel distortion is is very important for me and so wide angle lens make, make it quite hard. The typical ones with the fisheye effect are, are very hard to deal with. So that's that's about this. Yeah, thank you very much.